so yesterday we discussed about the we started the discussion on uh, sensors now today we are uh, moving on to the control so these are definitely these uh, three or four classes more of a information sharing uh, classes because each class will uh, uh, will become a separate course so that's the reason why i'm actually making you to understand what it is fundamentally once you understand that learning those subjects some people will get interest to learn those subjects some people will actually understand that and uh, it will be beneficial for learning that so that's why these uh, two three classes uh, next uh, upcoming class uh, also these are more like a information sharing classes uh, unlike the previous uh, skill improving classes so in this class we are going to discuss about the bio inspired controls as i mentioned you yesterday so let me start with the question again the yesterday's question what is sensor what is sensor hello am i audible no uh, no any uh, instrument that perceives information it's not a instrument it's a component okay so it's a component that uh, can you repeat sai perceives information takes an in information perceives information or just allow the information flow a kind of information flow okay so if it is a photo detector it will allow the information in terms of light if it is the sonic detector it will allow the information in terms of mechanical waves if it is the uh, piezoelectric sensor it will allow the uh, sensing the the force force also mechanical wave but we can call it as a force so force so different kinds of informations are received or allowed to flow by these sensors that we are very clear first but yesterday i have pointed out that sensors you should not look independently you have to understand them because what sai said i really like it he said the component that perceive the information so component perceiving the information means it is also making the meaning for that information perceive means that 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 is the meaning of that so perceiving perception means what you are all actually making the meanings for the information you are receiving so then only you can form your perception so that's the reason why if you consider only sensor as a separate entity it cannot perceive it cannot even know what it is doing but once the sensor is connected to the control then it can perceive that's what i actually clearly mentioned yesterday please consider sensor along with the its controller okay so that case you are going to perceive the information information input information may be of different kind may be light sound force or anything else pressure or anything else so information can be of different kind okay like our five senses so this way this way control system always organize manage and understand the information that is coming from the sensor so organizing the sensor is its duty managing the sensor is its duty and also understanding the sensor's information also it's a duty so in this particular case sensor become a part of controlling system a small part okay but we made it separate uh, thing because of the utility of the thing so keeping that in mind let us discuss the control system so control system always remember it is uh, it is connected with the sensory system always it is connected with the sensory system 
it manages the sensory system it also uh, that means maintain the uh, sensory system and that is organize the sensory system at the same time it also understand the sensor uh, given input or the sensor based inputs that means understanding means making a meaning making out a meaning that's it that is mean by understanding so once you make some meaning out of it then accordingly your response will be there okay so that is the uh, actually uh, what you need to learn as a sensors and controls okay so bio inspired controls or bio inspired sensors and controls second class we are starting with the artificial neural network because the name itself indicating it's a bio inspired so i need not to tell bio inspired artificial neural network okay the basis itself a bio inspired so where actually this artificial neural network started i will give all the glimpses of this course artificial neural network then you can start your journey with this understand okay so i will try to make you understand in a simplest manner okay first try to understand artificial neural network is a controlling system is a controlling system nothing other than that it's not a hardware or something it's a controlling system it's purely a program or a software based a soft controlling system which you can actually inject into the system okay so that's the reason why i'll i'll tell you why we call it as perceptron because artificial neuron has a name called perceptron remember it so before that i will try to introduce what this uh, natural neuron that is uh, which we have as the information transmitters from one part of the body to another part of the body or one part of the body to brain what they essentially do we all know because neurons are very fascinating like electrons as well as other particles these are the micro particles with the random structure like this and these neurons even though structure is very ugly they do very uh, uh, marvelous things okay so these dendrites if you see these dendrites are the input receivers dendrites are the input receivers so do anybody know what kind of input uh, uh, generally the neurons receive from different parts of the body pulses electrical pulses ha ah, electrical pulse okay so they receive the information as electrical pulses okay because last to last class i discussed about the artificial skin okay since uh, nobody submitted uh, i don't know how many people submitted the assignment now people are asking for extension okay i will do the extension up to next uh, uh, monday that is okay but uh, try to understand what you are doing the tribo electric device is a device which can be used for making artificial skin okay there exactly what you are doing is generating the electrical pulses when you touch it the electrical pulse is generated so we are trying to make it as uh, make a sheet which works like a artificial skin if somebody interested you you may approach me i have lot of projects in that direction okay especially electronics people or uh, others okay so that is nothing but electronic skin so if you touch at somewhere how your brain is able to identify so what is the, whatever the electrical pulse generated here actually received by the neurons present at that place and these neurons are transmitting that electrical pulse into some other kind of electrical pulse which you call as axon that is also electrical pulse only 
so that pulse is given by another neuron like that one neuron to another neuron one neuron to another neuron it is instantaneously propagating towards the brain so brain make out the meaning brain make out the meaning neuron won't make out the meaning brain make makes out the meaning that's why mad person even though he has uh, uh, what do you say that uh, neurons the problem is he is unable to make out the meaning he is means his brain okay his brain is unable to make out the meaning that's why we are calling him as mad actually we should not call he will call us as mad these fellows are making meaning for everything unnecessary like that okay so that way the neurons are actually the signal propagators or signal carriers that takes the signal from one position to another position in the form of electrical signals how electrical signal propagates when you touch at every position you have neurons so those neurons receive this electrical pulse generated by different parts of the body those electrical pulses are processed and given as a output to another neuron so that neuron to neuron distribution or neuron to neuron propagation will keep going on okay so that is where uh, i will tell you later multi layer neural networks or something came into picture so everything is by one spot okay so information is propagating and based on the output of because signal traveled through this many number of neurons and whatever whatever came out to the brain based on that brain decides okay this is a touch by the finger or touch by something else it is a pinch touch or maybe bite okay if a dog bites uh, neurons behavior will be different na? okay so that meaning make out of the meaning depends on <coughs> sorry what is the output it is getting through the <coughs> sorry propagation of uh, propagation of signal through these neurons input to output output to input input to output output to input like that so this neurons output is going to be input for another neuron like that the chain will take place then finally brain will make the meaning out of the output final output okay that you understand this is what happening in your body in the same lines in the same lines we introduce a information processing system in the same lines we introduced the information processing system that information processing system is called neural network because it is a network right too many uh, neurons are involved but we are not using a biological uh, neuron biological neuron is a cell so it's a cell which made up of a biomaterial soft material which has a nucleus which mostly based on the nucleus only it is going to give the output output changes with respect to the behavior of the cell okay so it has nucleus nucleus means i will tell you later nucleus is always represents a kind of nature okay you call it as weight okay so nucleus is reason for its weight you remember that now understanding after understanding the the neural network which we or a different species have <clears throat> we go for artificial neural network in this artificial neural network we introduced a artificial neuron which you can see here this one so artificial neuron where the cursor is lying now the artificial neuron is called perceptron what we call that perceptron so this perceptron what it is doing it has multiple inputs it has multiple inputs now you compare with this one multiple inputs can give multiple voltage pulses okay 
in this case what are the voltage pulses you are getting your zero one bits and bytes okay because you are able to make out the meaning for that so you have multiple input data flow or multiple input information flow because everything you are digitalizing am i right analog of data you are not using you, you are digitalizing everything okay so that's the reason why the information flow is through inputs mostly through digital data okay somebody can counter me that can't we use analogous data you try who said no you can try that's what i am actually telling if you keep going on digitalizing 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 you keep increasing the process uh, uh, unnecessary processing sometimes we do so that's why we have to go for analogous data understanding also through neural network but it's bit difficult okay and sometimes makes like a nonsense also okay but whatever it is digital or analog okay data is flowing here that means data is flowing through input here. okay so this input actually going to where it's a cell what is that cell that cell is also nothing but uh, it's a kind of a mathematical uh, equation program okay it's kind of a mathematical equation program so when this data is processed with respect to that non linear equation with respect to the weight introduced by this mathematical equation so your data is actually processed with respect to a function that is a mathematical function that function gives you the output okay so that function gives you the output that may be single output or multiple output okay and this complete structure is called so one data input or information inflow and a function that is the basis of the perceptron you call it as mathematical function i don't mind that's why i told depending on the nucleus and the cell the output will vary the kind of output will vary try to understand same way here depending on the function especially non linear function you are using your output is going to be different for the same input you may get a different output if this function is different mostly non linear functions okay and this whole structure is called perceptron which is the basis of artificial neural networks or ann which you call okay so perceptron in needs input data flow mostly digitalized the mathematical non linear function that is going to implement or process this data uh, with that mathematical function okay processing data with respect to that mathematical function then the output will be according to that okay so because many times i am repeating non linear mathematical functions why i am saying non linear because this mathematical functions and outputs will not be like a linear process they are always non linear it won't be like a, uh, what do you what do you say that uh, uh, you are straight line it will always be non linear but what is the advantage and disadvantage of the non linear non linear is always like it will also introduce something into the output it will also introduce some weight to the output okay and that output will vary from one perceptron to another perceptron okay this is the description of perceptron this is how you need to understand the perceptron in a artificial neural network then you can ask me 
how i can build this mathematical non linear function then you have to use either python or c language to code that equation that's it. to code that function that's it. and you have data input then you have to produce the data output so my suggestion is you have to learn first to build a single perceptron unless you understand that a single perceptron is working independently kindly don't go for a big bigger uh, neural networks yeah, these days it became a trend that uh, many courses i am seeing online that fellow even don't know what is mean by perceptron he will talk about neural networks okay so that fundamental understanding please try to understand which is purely by my side okay now when you go to the structure of the artificial neural network the artificial neural network is nothing but the configuration or arrangement of different perceptrons in a layers okay that's why we have single layer artificial neural network and multi layer artificial neural network multi layer means nothing you have input layer and output layer anyway that will be there in the middle if you have multiple layers any number of perceptrons no restriction or no uh, limitation any number of perceptrons you can have so if you have multiple layers of perceptrons then that is multiple uh, sorry uh, yeah multiple layer artificial neural network same way if you have only one layer that is single layer artificial neural network so in artificial neural network which is the arrangement of perceptrons you can have the input layer you can have the hidden layer which we the middle layers are hidden layers we call and output layer what is essentially happening data is flowing into the input layer then it has its own mathematical functions okay so those math according to those mathematical function the data is processed and sent to all the neurons in the next layer and they also have some mathematical functions coded and that the secondary process will take place then tertiary process also will take place and quaternary process also take place so like this layer by layer processing keep taking place and finally they reach to layer by layer means again i am repeating it is not sequential it's a simultaneous the minute you give the data all perceptrons will be active all perceptrons will be active so they actually simultaneously process this outputs then finally you get the data output okay so that's why i wrote here very important point unlike the traditional algorithms neural networks cannot be programmed point to be noted they are working according to some function so they will change according to their own function because it is a non linear function okay so they cannot be programmed function you can program but the way they work will not be the way you intend the way they set on their own okay they work so or a configured to work in the intended way just like human brains they have to learn how to accomplish a task okay so this learning process where it is coming from this learning process is coming from the non linear mathematical function you programmed in each perceptron is responsible for that. okay i'll tell you which functions we will use so according to the non linear functions we are using in those perceptrons accordingly the data processing take place then in each layer at each perceptron they add the weight to your output value because non linear right in linear also we will add uh, sometimes you don't add that's why y is equal to mx plus b no sorry y is equal to mx plus 
C. What is that C? Anybody? Linear equation is y is equal to mx plus c, right? Ah, interceptor. Interceptor. That intercept is actually the weight added. Okay. Same way here also each layer and each perceptrons will add like that weight. Its own weight or its own madness. Maybe I can tell like that because if you give some information, what I do is. i will add my perceptions also into that my madness also i will add into that so that you may ask sir data is corrupted no 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 that is also useful to understand the data in a generalized fashion okay so that is the reason why the input data is processed with the different mathematical functions and the different layers with the different addition of weights okay different addition of weights because you are using a non linear function each perceptron is organized by a non linear function that will add its own weight okay so when this weights are added and propagated like that or processed simultaneously like that your output will be of a decision okay your output will be of a decision if that decision is wrong then it has to process back okay that's why it is called learning so these algorithms are not programmed algorithms okay they are learning algorithms they learn things until they get the required output until they get the required set of weights until they get the required set of decisions okay i will explain next so this is all uh, anyway we explained the the data processing take place simultaneously not it's a sequential manner one layer to another layer another layer to no it's a sequential manner all the data processing take place but there is a connection from one layer to another layer now these are adaptive why i am calling it them as adaptive because as i told you previously it is not at all working the intended way it is learning how you justify if i say it is learning because it is taking your output then applying some mathematical functions in different layers adding different weights to that it is getting some decision output but output is a decision that's why we are calling it as control okay output is a decision when output is a decision that decision can be wrong or right two options are there maybe partially wrong partially right okay so until you get the right decision it keep rectifying on its own what it will rectify it won't rectify the uh, equations it will rectify the weight it is adding okay at each perceptron when it adds the weight at each perceptron then finally it will reach the set of weights that actually give the correct decision output or correct output that is what it will wait for so that's the reason why it is adaptive so it can learn things okay so next is where all we use this uh, kind of uh, artificial neural networks pattern recognition so that may be facial patterns or uh, the uh, geo uh, geographical patterns or any other patterns in the pa pattern of writing okay so different uh, pattern recognition we can use artificial neural networks so time series prediction maybe last year one student said almost he earned uh, uh, some 50000 from the stock market seems that fellow used this kind of algorithm stock market algorithms now they are implementing this algorithms even some uh, algorithms like grow they are using these to predict what is going to happen okay it's a like statistical prediction okay next step. signal processing so signal processing 
definitely image processing or the other uh, signal processing we can use this and control that is what we are discussing so this is going to have a extremely huge impact on controls control means now we are talking always talking about autonomous vehicles autonomous bodies autonomous uh, uh, spacecrafts so unmanned aerial vehicles so many things autonomous we are talking the minute you say autonomous you must understand control system should be the neural network because system has to understand the environment system has to learn the environment that's the reason why in control systems this is the best way and soft sensors yesterday i mentioned you soft sensors what they are because they they will be connected to many sensors and the, they will process the data at the time and give you the output okay so one example soft sensor is the weather forecasting system of course that is not working properly but still they are using it. soft sensors are very useful because lot of data is there but in that data can you really sense which is the useful data you need a soft sensor okay it's purely software next is the anomaly detection this is any way we are using here and there in autonomous vehicles where deviation from the fact okay so these are the applications now you have different kinds of uh, uh, these things single perceptron also you can call it as neural network multi layer perceptrons multi layer neural network the back back propagation networks okay that means the data flow can be in the back direction also radial basis networks same how the data is being processed based on the different names probabilistic neural networks so these are the different neural networks we have with which we are actually giving the example here is the very age old example don't worry about that the example is the that autonomous robot uh, because our people are making it right? some uh, mars rover or something okay so the autonomous robot they are uh, uh, I, i just gave as an example what it has to do it has to avoid the obstacles and uh, go to the intended uh, target but before that it has to learn how to go like that so obstacle means your perception is different what is the perception of that vehicle because if you say obstacle is there will it listen no okay because you are not there it has to understand what is obstacle so that's why yesterday yesterday or day before yesterday you try to understand the perception not only sensor what is the meaning this particular species is making out of that information okay if you understand you understand perception so obstacle you have one perception but uh, the the uh, system also must have one perception so how you can form the perception by using artificial neural networks now this you know this kind of artificial neural network we use in that particular autonomous vehicle where as i told you all are connected to the sensors so inputs are coming from sensors this is the input layer all perceptrons and all layers will have a mathematical function and each layer and each perceptron will add its own weight so all layers and all perceptrons will process simultaneously and give you the output but what is the required output required output according to this device is 100 comes means it will take it will move forward if uh, sorry uh, if uh, 0100 comes it will go back or move back if a 0010 comes it will uh, take left and other one it will take right but you may ask me sir directly we can program these things right 
Why should we use neural network? That is what I'm telling. Okay. There may be a cases where exactly what you are proposing may not be true. Because you are saying that if uh, this particular sensor uh, gives the, this output, uh, that is the obstacle. That's a wrong understanding. So you have to allow the system or this artificial neural, neural network form its own perception of obstacle. What are all obstacles according to that system? So when it forms like that, then it will form the suitable weights and suitable outputs for different functions. Okay. Until it will reach these four states and learn how to reach these four states in different scenario. Okay. You cannot say this artificial neural network is perfect. You are just allowing it to understand on its own. Learn on its own. That's it. That means forming its own perception of obstacle. That is the meaning. Okay. Now, this is what happening mathematically. This I can show in the first slide itself. Uh, the minute you see the mathematics, you will sleep. That's a problem. Okay. This is what your output. This is what your output, single output I'm talking about. If this is the output, this output is actually managed by many perceptrons. Many perceptrons. Each perceptron will add its own weight. Okay. So each perceptron will add its own weight. So that's why every layer, every perceptron add its own weight. So that's the reason why this weight of every layer and weight of every perceptron will be added weight connecting the input layer to the hidden layer hidden layer can be single layer or multiple layers and pi is a component of input vector okay then uh, bj gain or hidden layer gain means what it is adding what it is adding to the summation of all the perceptrons gain it is adding to the uh, main value that is this one and this one is weight of each perceptor okay each layer so this is what the gain weight so this function is called whatever the function you fix there in the perceptron is called activation function what we call that activation function so this is what the way we understand the uh, uh, artificial neural network or a single perceptron. So each of the neurons of a first hidden layer has an output given by this one. So I told right, I will talk to you about the non-linear functions, non-linear mathematical function that organizes the perceptron. So these are the non-linear mathematical functions generally we use in the perceptron the tan sin function sin function you must have known that that will give you this output okay so non-linear functions only we use okay because we are intending to learn so they change accordingly so the remaining neurons of the remaining layers have an activation function given by the following formula. In this example, I'm talking about. Okay. Generally, the activation functions are uh, all the nonlinear functions are allowed, but generally they use the tensing function and log sync function. Okay. So in this example, also they used the tensing function and log sync functions. That is up to your choice and your understanding. You can use any complex thing in order to make a very complex neural network, but it should be a nonlinear function. So if I show this one in the first slide, you will understand the things in different ways. That's why I explained first what is the juice of this subject. This is the mathematical part. You have to use. 
if you want to actually create a perceptron you must program the uh, nonlinear function once you program the nonlinear function you are actually processing the input data with respect to this function then giving the output along with the gain because it is a nonlinear function right it will give you the gain also at every layer okay so that is what the uh, artificial neural network so using those the sing function tan sing function and log sing function in every perceptron at a different layers they uh, made the complete algorithm that algorithm anyway they injected to that uh, vehicle which i have shown previously in this uh, vehicle okay so they they have shown in this uh, they programmed in this vehicle in the control system then now they tested it see epoch means number of testing times okay let us assume how many testing epochs it, it took 634 what is this epoch number epoch number is nothing but how many iterations in which your vehicle learned or your your vehicle formed it's a perception of obstacle how many number of iterations after which your vehicle formed complete perception of obstacle okay in this example i'm talking okay so these epochs are actually a kind of a training session in this training session what they are going to do mathematical functions are constant input is constant then what is happening throughout the iterations what is happening is the weight they are introducing the gain they are introducing each change with every iteration so every iteration is a kind of an improvement and you can see one surprising thing here you can see this one so the performance came 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 down immediately we may think that it is nearby better best one it is nearby best one but you see performance again went up in the next iteration you need not to worry about it okay you need not to worry again it came down slightly but when it reached here it completely learned and it completely made or formed a perception what is mean by obstacle that means any kind of obstacle now it can navigate through okay so that kind of uh, uh, perception is forming okay that means after 634 epochs the real set of weights and gains is established so that is what mean by artificial neural network in the real sense considering the control and sensors control and sensors so that's why generally i take a very different path to explain the artificial intelligence now if you have any question you can ask Because artificial intelligence means uh, I should not start immediately 